understand it, sis. Hmm? No, nothing. I can't remember if we did like the first couple or, or not, but yeah. Done. Finished. Moving on. Across the Doom Room. So they've got skeleton faces, those necromancers. I, I never really stopped to look at them very, very carefully because I was always in danger. And man, do I hate danger. Now where does the clomper come down? About there. Yeesh. I think we're almost at the guy. Because look, we've got the Queen Marika buff already, even at this point, even should I step off the ledge and, and get killed by something. Let's, let's hope I can beat the Death Knight. That would be the, uh, the best outcome here. Oh wow, he jogged my attack, even though I'd knocked him down. So that always steals your life. If you do not get out of that attack, this fight's gonna go on forever. Oh my god, and he can spam it. He's not a gentleman. Hey there, Wirespot. How's it going? 
Oh no, he got me with a grapple. No! My life! Damn you, Death Knight. Ah, oh, and I'm down. Man down. Yeah. I hate his lifesteal. He lifestealed me um, about six times because I, I haven't figured it out yet. But we will. We'll, we'll get it. But yeah, um, I have a health bar. I, I, I gave up on my pipe dream. I did actually find one more opportunity to get a Skadoo Tree Blessing for even more damage reduction and more damage dealt after I'd respect. So there was one more available in the world, but I found the game too hard. So since then, we have beat uh, Rolana, not Ranala, but Rolana, and uh, her, her door just went outside, <laughs> and I got I got nothing. Oh, it would have been nice if I had a beaten it with just the 10 health, though. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> and then we also beat the Skidoo Tree uh, Avatar, and then that also went nowhere. So I was pretty damn upset. So then I went off and I defeated the... Um, the red bug woman with the scarlet rot, and then that went absolutely nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I did. I think I, I think we got all of them. I think you said there was a new one about a crab that I didn't play yet, but otherwise we got them all. I think. Um, but the, there was one interesting thing here. We went up to this pillar, and it said, "Oh, by the way, the the tree here is what's." Um, forming this entire barrier around this area, which is preventing you from getting in. But in order to burn this down, to get past the thorns, you're going to need Mesmer's fire. But I didn't yet go off and try and defeat Mesmer. He's still sitting there in his little castle. Uh, and also, I found another way up to where that archer guy was, and I'm like, yeah, finally, the end boss, the archer guy that was shooting at me the whole time. But then I went down a little bit further and I found an outdoor dancing lion. Like we beat in that, that other castle over here. So there's a, there's, a, there's another dancing lion. It's, it's just crazy. That one is silly. It has Dark Souls attacks and mechanics and everything. But it's like Finding Nemo. Awesome. That sounds so cool. I'm sure we beat somebody else today, but I can't remember. Maybe we didn't. Maybe that was everyone. But that was like... Th oh, that was it. I figured it out. We did beat one more guy. We beat the um, we beat the rot knight down the bottom here, and now we're over by Saint Trina. Saint Trina's over here, along with Theolier. But there's an option if you want to talk to Saint Trina, because she won't say anything to you. There's an option to drink the poison of death that will death kill you, guaranteed. And the guy that gave you it is the other guy that's here. And he stands there and he says, don't you drink that death poison that would kill you. Only I may drink the death poison that will kill me. And only I may talk to St. Trina. But you get a dialogue option to ignore him and drink one of them anyway to try and talk to St. Trina. But I didn't have the courage yet. I'm kind of working up the courage and that's why I'm down somewhere else trying to do another dungeon. Trying to think about if I, if I want to do that or not. It just seems crazy. It's a real Romeo and Juliet thing. got me with the grapple again. You knock him down and he just gets up and gets you with the lifesteal. It's so annoying. Oh, I got him with a backstab. You can backstab this guy. And again? Yeah! No freaking way.
Gotcha. Boom. First Death Knight down. We got the Death Knight's twin axes. And we got a Chris, Crim, Crimson Amber Medallion plus three. No way. Let's see what his axes are all about. It sounds like you're going to get two. It's going to be one of those one weapon gives you two weapon dealios. We've had a couple of these. Yeah, twin axes. Oh, they scale with faith and they give you lightning damage. Golden War Axes of the Death Knight, a pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands, crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. So when you find the Crucible Knights and they're hanging around with areas with, with ancient dragons and there's all the lightning going off from the ancient dragons, it makes sense. The Crucible and the ancient dragons and all the lightning and stuff, it's all in the same place. The Knight, once the personal guard of Godwin... Godwin... Wow. Was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. What the heck? Wait, 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 hold up. I'm gonna have to read this again. Cause that was that was a that was a lot. The knight once the personal guard of Godwin was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver sur surrogate. The Prince of Death has a cadaver surrogate? Um, uh, let's go underground, look at the map, and go over to the place where I'm thinking of. It's not the right place. This is the right place. Prince of Death's Throne. There was a surrogate over here? The what? Also, if he's the guardian of over here, why is he not over here? Is he something to do with the... Is he something to do with this? Is this the surrogate? Old... Eyeballs fish face. He's got like a... A, a, a gauntlet on his hand. Uh, an anklet. Bracelet. And uh... I don't know, that looks like a mermaid tail to me, man. I never... It looks like I never ever activated whatever this portal is. Maybe it was something to do with fear. But she was she was a villain, man. Uh, anyway, back to the uh, Shadow of the Earth tree. That was cool. Oh, hold up. I teleported out of that dungeon. And um, I didn't really look around at all. Hopefully it was just a teleporter back to the entrance. <laughs> Whoops. I got too excited about what what the heck the other thing meant. I put a tree there. That helped me remember, surely. Okay. While we're here in this, this part of the game, why don't we go and see what some of these new remembrances do? And see if I can uh, get any new boss loot items. That'd be nice. Equipment of Champions. Whoa! Rolana's armor! No freaking way. Is that her gloves, really? She's got, like, basic cloth gloves along with her stuff? Okay, fine. Ornate Helm of Rolana, the Twin Moon Knight, fashioned from silver steel. Renala, the head of the royal family of Caria, was said to have given her younger sister, who renounced her lineage to chase after Mesmer, a gift of lustrous black hair. Okay, so th this tooltip has Renala and Rolana in it. And we know we know Renala, she gives us the respects, and this is her, her sister. Damn. Oh, there's a bit different tooltip for the chest piece. Ornate armor of Rolana, the twin moon knight, fashioned from silver steel. Adorned with the lapis lazuli blue that is symbolic of Caria, its radiance is yet to fully fade. Fashioned from quality leather. And... Fashioned from silver steel. Cool. So what do some of these new remembrances do? I looked at that one earlier. So, Rolana's twin blades can either be... Rolana's Twin Blades. Oh my god! 
And they scare with all the stuff that I like. Yay. Karian light greatsword embedded with blue glintstone. Weapon of Rolana, the twin moon knight. The two swords as a single armament. When two-handing, a straight sword enga engraved with golden flame will be carried in the left hand. Here and here alone were moon and fire ever together. Moon and fire stance. Assume ready stance. Swords imbued with magic. Follow up with normal attack to cast glintstone light waves or strong attack to perform a spinning attack that bathes the area with flame. Light waves can have up to two follow up casts with additional inputs. It's like a new version of my current sword. It's so much like the sword of uh, night and flame, but a little bit different with a dual wield. You know component. Uh, and then we've got Rolana's Twin Moons. In incarnate overlapping Twin Moons which strike the ground one after another. This is such a badass ability when she uses it. Violently shaking the earth with moonlight. In her childhood she and her elder sister, Renala, met these moons. Overlapping as though nestled against one another. Oh, I kind of want the spell as well. It's a sorcery though, and we haven't been using sorcery. But this is like the kind of one that I might duplicate in order to get both rewards. Let's look at the next guy. Remembrance of Putrescence. We can either get the Putrescence Cleaver. The weapon wielded by the Putrescent Knight. A great cleaver of hardened putrescence affixed to an arc fashioned from human bones. Grants power from... What gains power from the wielder's arcane attribute? Yes, it scales with it, but does it also mean something else in the way that it's also in the tooltip? I mean, you can see that it gains power with it because it scales with it, but also being in the tooltip means maybe it double scales? I got no idea. Unique skill, the spinning guillotine. Hold the putrid blade at both ends and arch body backwards to deliver a powerful overhead chop. Repeat inputs deliver follow-up attacks as long as stamina allows. Strong attack performs a leap followed by a spinning attack. Oh, interesting. We've got a lot of these new items that repeat inputs allow attacks indefinitely as long as you have stamina and mana. We also have Vortex, uh, Vortex of Putrescence. Sorcery, used by the Putrescent Knight, launches a whirl of putrescent jets that explode shortly after impact and bathe the area in ghost flame. In ages long past, death was burned by ghost flame. Even the remains of tainted flesh were given equal treatment in death. The Sunflower of Doom. We can get the, sun the Shadow Sunflower Blossom. Please don't tell me that's a weapon. That is the dumbest weapon I've ever seen, if it's a weapon. The head of a monstrous Shadow Sunflower manifestation of the Skidoo Tree. Then again, it might just be a flower. Wielded as a weapon. Oh god, why? Much like the Skidoo tree itself in appearance, a second stalk winds tightly around the first. Almost as if in a tender embrace. Unique skill, the Shadow Sunflower Headbutt. Slam down the blossom of a large Shadow Sunflower. That is, that is, that is not a, that's not a manly sentence. Slam down the blossom of a large Shadow Sunflower is, is, is not something you ever, you ever want to hear. Sending out a shockwave that flattens foes. Repeat inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. What does it scale with? It's a faith weapon. You need to be really strong to use it. It's probably going to be crazy oversized. Oh, it's a colossal weapon. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be huge in the player's hands. 24 strength, 25 faith, 8 dex. And it scales better with strength and faith than it does with dex, but does scale with all three. And we can also get the the Land of Shadow. It's an incantation. Hooray, finally a spell from my spell school. Incantation originating from the Skidoo Tree avatars. Maybe it's a tiny colossal weapon. One of the small colossi. It could be. It could be. It is a faith weapon. Maybe I'll, like, duplicate this one and, and buy both. I should have... I should have put down markers where I found, like, the duplicators... It's really stupid of me that I just kind of didn't. 
sitting there thinking, oh well, I haven't seen an interesting one yet, and I didn't put down any markers on the map where I've seen the uh, the duplicators there. Oh god, I know where one of them is, I remember where one of them is. But not the other one or two that I've seen. Whoops. Um, creates a hail of golden projectiles which are fired towards foes after a brief delay. This was a cool move that the boss was using. This incantation channels the force of the Skadutri's power and its gold is accompanied by shadow. Dun dun dun. Remember it's of Saint of the Bud. The um, the rot thing. Pole Blade of the Bud. So the weapon that she was using. Weapon of Romina, Saint of the Bud. A scarlet glaive with a dangerous bud-like blade. Oh no, a dangerous bud-like blade. Help, flowers. Uh, attacks cause build-up of rot. Once in the crumbling burning church, Romina held the bud in speechless silence. The bud would become her blade. She was just sitting there holding a flower and it became a weapon. That would have scared the heck out of me if that happened to me. Unique skill, Romina's putrefaction. Imbues bud blade. <laughs> they just call it bud blade down here. They don't call it the pole blade of the bud. Imbues the bud blade with scarlet rot butterflies before unleashing two large sweeping slashes. This was once considered a sacred act of purification. Uh, it's not anymore. It's full of scarlet rot. And another incantation, another spell from my spell school. Summons a myriad of butterflies while performing a gentle twirl. <laughs> Again. A bit weird. A bit weird. The butterflies break apart on contact, scattering rot and setting off a chain reaction. The scarlet butterflies are as the goddess of rot's wings, bereft of a master. They were soothed by Ramina, who reached out to them. Okay. Interesting. Not sure if the Goddess of Rot is Melania, Blade of Mikola. And that this tooltip is insinuating that I've killed her at this point because they're now bereft of a master. But I haven't because she's still there. But uh, what does this scale with? This one scales with Arcane. So we probably don't really want that. Whereas the Rotten Butterflies only require Faith and no Arcane at all. So we probably do want that. Yeah, I, I'm, I may, might duplicate the Remembrance of the Twin Moon Knight and then have both of these options and everything else I might I might leave until I find more duplicators or remember where some of them were. So the duplicator that I can remember is uh, right, right here. So we're going to head out and go for that. Charge! I feel like the other one is in like a rot swamp somewhere. But there's two or three of those rot swamps and I can't remember which of them it's in. Or whether I'm even remembering it correctly. Oof. Let that be a lesson to me that I should remember to mark things. Damn, I was close with this marker. On the world map, no less. I hear hands approaching. Not anymore. I think we're good. So, we're duplicating this one. Boom. One sword, please, and one twin moon, please. Let's go upgrade it as well. Bet this thing's gonna be awesome. And maybe it won't be, but it, it seems on paper to be my kind of thing.
So before I super dedicate it and uh, use use one of the final stones on it, we should probably like have a little bit of a look at it in, in a comparison sense. Damage is up on physical by quite a lot. Damage is a little bit up and a little bit down on magical. Seems to be up over all. So that would be 210. No, it's it's down a little bit over all on uh, fire and magic. Scaling seems to be better with strength and dex, but down a lot on faith and int by by a lot. Damn. Also, it's a bit heavier. Ah, oh, the other one appears on your back while you're not using it. Cool. Wait, I didn't want to talk to him. I wanted to go out into the field and use it. I want to swing this around a bit, some people. Uh, what people? These people? This is my usual test area. This is a good fun place. Whoa, the first attack is a uh, stab forwards while you're one handing it. Wow. That's like a smooth six hit combo with no break. So good. That's really cool. So it doesn't go very far, for sure. Visually impressive, though. heavy attacks look like. Yeah, they're nice. So there's no kind of like part two to the heavy attacks. Like if you try and... Okay, it's sort of, it is a two-parter, but it doesn't go any further than that. We've got the first two slices. Then the second two slices do kind of follow off of that stance, I think. Yeah. So it's a four-part combo if you hold the button down twice. It's nice. And then you can just start to dual wield them if you want. Yeah. Wow, it seems to be her exact moveset. That's, that's, that's really good. What about the heavy attacks when you're dual wielding? Oh, the heavy attacks don't seem to use both blades. She still just continues to use the first one that you're equipped with while you're not dual wielding for the heavy attacks. Yeah, you can't heavy attack off the other off the other weapon. Do I have two different full animations while dual wielding? Hold up. So, just R1 spam. That looks like that. Okay, sure. And then L1 spam. She's using both weapons still, but she does an entirely different combo. Well. It's he, because it's my character, but her weapons. I 
if you mix and match them a little bit, you don't ever need to like really stop. Cool. Well, I like this. This is great. You can always put put one weapon away and have the shield out and carry on with your day. And yeah. <laughs> Damn. Peak weapon design. I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Maybe I should level these up to um, max level with the last smithing stone. But I haven't really tested them out in combat yet. Do I want to go all the way down to the bottom of a dungeon with them? Yes. Let's try finishing up this dungeon. Or even doing it in the first place. I can't remember if I've been part way down this one or not. We'll find out as we go. Yeah, we've done this one. I like light great swords. I do. I am a fan already. For some reason I thought the ceiling was going to come down, but that's definitely not the case in this one. Just got to remember exactly how we do get down to the death knight here. Yeah. This is where the stomper is. Boom. And there's those guys over there. But do they lead further into the dungeon? I can't really remember if it does. It might be that you drop off of here next. I think, I'm thinking it's over here. I don't know why, but this sticks with me. Huh, a piece of loot I don't have. Why? That's odd. I've already been through this corridor. Hmm. I think that's the only the second time I've ever been death blighted in like any of these games. It doesn't happen to me often. I guess I was paying attention to the level design and wondering why I didn't have the piece of loot. Whoops. I'm looking forward to doing one of the dungeons that we haven't already technically completed earlier on. That'd be nice. 
Also, my character's rolling wrong because I got these heavier weapons on and I didn't adjust for it. Oops. Step one, do not walk into the death. Wait until the death is over. Step two, continue after step one is complete. I think this might be an area where I kept on looking across and wondering how do I get down there? Well, I think I've solved it. So we haven't been this way before. Maybe. Ow. I know where this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a left and then we're back on course again. I guess I'll go past those troops then. Try and get onto the... That's it, that's it. I can walk around the corner here, go up a ladder, and then that gets us up to where we're supposed to be. I'm, I'm, I'm a member now. being hit by death. Yeah, I guess now we've got to wait for it to go away. Oh well, I guess I'll take a sip of a uh, drink. Nah, uh, let's not wait until it's fully clear. Let's charge out like maniacs. <laughs> They're from above. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I don't want to get crushed by anything. It's a cool phrase, though. I love death from above. Is this it? Is this the last bit? I think there's this corridor where we've got, like, um... <laughs> yeah, the worst that can happen is that I die. It's not too bad. We we'll just have to start again. I think we've got that corridor down here where the the kind of the jar eye things are just like floating along in the air. It's a bit spooky. Oh. Okay. There is a America statue here as well. Then this you can't like interact with them. That's the weird part. Just a bunch of ghostly flowing eyes that cause death. Sure. It's not scary at all. Nasty. Just wish you could destroy the statue. Then I'd be happy. But they don't let you. So I'm sad. So nice being able to tank that hit. 
I can't express how much easier the game is with some health. Like, before I had, like, 420 health, something like that. Now I got 1,793. It's so relaxing. God, it's so good. I can't remember what happens in this room. Oh, there's some enemies up there. I guess I, uh... threw the thing. Oh, no. Oh, whoa! Rose got some weird iron cannons and stuff. Wait, hold on. If I made it down to the boss, why on earth did I never find that piece of loot up there? That's unlike me. I I want it. I've seen it, now I want it. Hmm. Yeah. Nope, that's not going to do it. So what we got? Oh, this is where I remember a ladder where it's behind some basilisks. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Maybe... Nope. Whoop. What? What? Oh man! There's a hole in their environment and I found it! And I didn't even get my Shrine of Marika because I fell so far away from it. It, it, it robbed me. Oh my god! What a bad bug. Yeah, I found a hole in the freaking planet! Oh, uh, what the hell. That is the worst secret wall I've ever found. Hey, you can go through this wall here. It just kills you, though. Man. That was some kind of planetary tear. I am convinced that uh, Cthulhu out to get me. Damn. I... That was a rip-off. That was a scam. I hate it. I am, I am no longer checking for secret walls by trying to roll through them. Because the first two I did like quick attacks, and I thought, eh, the quick attack's a little bit slower than the roll animation. So I roll into the next room, and I, I rolled out of existence. I rolled into a different plane. there's a way to get on that bridge.
I'm not a big fan of this guy and his iron cannon. That he can cast through the wall. Yeesh, what was all of that? That's crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that is missing collision. Entirely. Nah, nah, nah. See? This is a normal wall. Both of these are actual environment holes. Do not approach. Do not try. Be interesting if, like... You yeah, know, there is a secret there, and you're supposed to be able to just, you know, casually, gently walk in, but there's... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, nah, 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 nah. Nah. No freaking way. That ain't good, man. I do not trust where I am standing one bit. Ooh. Yeesh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hmm. Well, oh, moving on and moving away from all of that. <laughs> I'm kind of more afraid of them than intrigued by them. So I don't think I'd be like a like a like a speedrunner guy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay well away. I don't want to change platforms. Platforms, genres, archetype. I'm pretty happy just being regular gamer. Oh, this is another one of those eyeball things, but that's not too bad. You can quickly run past them. Yeah, that was it. There might be a way upstairs somehow. So again, that's kind of like two areas where I don't know how to get to the loot. A quick look off the bridge. Oh, okay. Investigation step one. I'm pretty sure this is a new area. Uh, we're going down either of those doesn't look like a good idea. I'm gonna have to say ditto to here. But this, this could be new. Ooh, did I solve one of them? It's gonna make me happy if I've solved one of them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh dear, it's Cannon Man. And his buddy. Come on, you get. Okay. Okay, some of the death eyeballs uh, patrol across there. That's interesting. Let's uh, quickly grab this. Grab this. Ancient Dragon Knight's Cookbook number two. And that was one of the places that we went across earlier. What about this? Oh, and this is the other piece of loot. Hey, We're out here figuring stuff out. Uh-oh. 
What you got for me? What you got for me? Okay, you're gonna do that? I'll do this then. Boom, fool. We got him. Very carefully check the secret rooms here without, you know. Yoink. A broken rune. Lame. I hope they don't turn around at this point and then look back at- Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Underneath them. Oh, phew. Okay. It was a bold play, but I didn't die. I didn't die. Okay, if I wait for them to go past and follow them, I'll only get like a little bit of, a little bit of splash. A little splash of death. There we go. We're all right. Hopefully this is the death night now and all is well. Yeah, this looks good. I'm low on all sorts of resources, but whatever. Yay, he missed me with the lifesteal. Wrong potion. Ow. And he missed me again with a life steal. Cool. Thumbs up for the Death Knight, as always, but we beat him on the minimal resources. And we got the Death Knight's Long Haft Axe. And a Cerudian Amber Medallion plus three, as a mirror to the health one that we got earlier. 
This is very cool. Let's check out the axe. And mine axe. It is. So it's a faith weapon, again, with lightning. Very cool. I haven't forgotten lightning in this expansion. It is still here. A long-hafted golden axe wielded by the Death Knight. There's a representation of a decayed golden ring. Crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver, Surrogate. Unique skill, Blink Bolt Long Haft Axe. That is a, that's a long, unique skill name. From a low stance, the body is transformed into a bolt of lightning and charged straight ahead at fulgurous speed. Strong attack performs a lightning charge leaping slash. Okay. Pretty swish. And we got, uh, yeah, we got one of, the, one of them there faces there. Oh, that other one is on its side, and then there's the one from the Stormvale Keep at the bottom, and then there- Oh my god. These gross faces are everywhere, so how many surrogates are there? It's, yeah. What's going on with Godwin? There's at least another DLC there, so we can find out what the heck's going on with Godwin. What's Godwin all about? What you doing, Godwin? Why you got faces? Faces everywhere. Too many. Too many faces. Another dungeon cleared off the map, though. And I did like that weapon. It was actually it's pretty good. A little bit different from the Sword of Night and Flame, but... Probably worth taking to the next level. Probably worth investing that final item into it. I think we're gonna go and try this uh, dark light catacombs, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go put that final point into the weapon. I'm gonna commit. I don't always commit, but when I do, it sure is glorious.